All right, uh, cylindrical container, uh, open top, it is holding one cubic foot. That tells us that volume is, uh, well, it's one, but also the formula for volume of a cylinder, which would be given if, if it was in the problem, uh, is pi r squared h. Okay. Um, we're asked to figure out the dimensions that require the least amount of material. So it's analogous to the previous problem. Um, we've got an open top, and we've got to figure out the surface area in terms of this is H and this is R. So if there is an open top, Hopefully I'm indicating that adequately with my uh, sketch there. Um, if there's an open top, then the surface area is going to consist of the rectangular portion that wraps around the cylinder together with the circular portion that makes up the bottom of the cylinder. Right? So in keeping with the drawing, uh, these vertical lines would show up like so on the rectangular portion. All right, um, the height of the rectangle, of course, is the same as the height of the cylinder. The length of the rectangle is the circumference of the circle, right? And circumference, of course, is 2 pi r. So together with our little pi r squared, we've got a surface area of 2 pi r h, that's the area of the rectangle, plus pi r squared. Okay, um, now how are we going to use the volume constraint equation? We're going to use it to solve for h, and then we're going to take our formula for H and plug it in to our objective, uh, the surface area. Remember, our objective is to minimize surface area. We are constrained by the fact that the volume equals 1. All right, so no big deal. Um, H is going to be 1 over pi r squared. And let's put it in. Okay, uh, we've got some cancelizing that happens. And we end up with what? 2 over r plus pi r squared. Surface area. We got to take the derivative. Um, this is, of course, 2r to the minus 1 plus pi r squared. So the derivative is going to be negative 2r to the minus 2 plus surface area prime plus uh, 2 pi r. Okay, uh, we're going to set that equal to 0. What happens next is. 2 pi r equals what? 2 over r squared. r cubed is 1 over pi. Of course, I'm skipping algebra like crazy. But um, that part uh, should not be the obstacle. At the end of the day, r is going to be the cube root, or the reciprocal of the cube root of pi. Okay, uh, going back to where we solved for h, we said that h was 1 over pi r squared, so that tells us h is 1 over pi times 1 over 
pi to the two-thirds, which actually turns out to be 1 over pi to the one-third. If you simplify it out, that's a two-thirds down there. Zoom in there, that's a, that's a two. Okay, um, now that we're all the way back uh, with this grand view, we found our constraint, we found our objective, we solved our constraint to get our objective in terms of one variable, took the derivative, set it equal to zero, and solved. And at the end of the day, that gave us our dimensions of radius and height. All right, next case.